Kemble and company moved in 1968 to Milton Keynes uh, to a new, brand new purpose-built factory. And we are now, I believe, the, the largest and most modern piano factory in Western Europe. Milton Keynes is a fascinating place. It is a combination of, of modern and traditional, uh, whether it be the traditional uh, thatch roof cottages in Milton Keynes village or the ultra-modern buildings in central Milton Keynes. Kemble and Company was founded by my grandfather, Michael Kemble, in 1911, and our first factory was in Stoke Newington, North London. There has been a major change in the way pianos are made. The acoustic piano is still very much uh, the same instrument that it was um, quite a few years ago, but there has been major change in the actual production processes. We don't just make a piano from start to finish without rest. It's a very complicated process. So even before the materials um, are, uh, arrive at the factory, for example, timber, that timber would have been seasoned through a significant period. Once um, the um, seasoned timber has arrived, it would then take um, certainly more than a month to come from one part of the factory to end up as a finished piano. The life of a Kemble piano begins with the soundboard, a critical component of the piano, as this is what helps create our legendary warm and mellow sound. Made from European spruce tone wood, each soundboard is carefully conditioned to withstand different climatic conditions by storing it in a controlled environment before use. It is sanded and then ribs and bridges are glued to it in special presses. This system ensures that it has the perfect crown or curvature to project the sound of the piano. The grid, also using European spruce along with hardwood liners, is made separately. It is shaped to match the three-dimensional crown of the soundboard and the two are glued together. The piano back is now complete and ready for varnishing. The cast iron frame is carefully fitted and adjustments made to obtain the optimum transfer of string vibrations to the soundboard. The stringing process of a piano begins with the insertion of hardwood bushings into the frame. Steel tuning pins are then inserted through these into the laminated pin block. There are over 240 pins in every piano and once inserted their tightness is carefully checked. The strings are made of carbon steel wire and the base strings are wrapped with virgin copper. Once the piano back is strung, tension is then applied in the first stage of tuning. The back with over 20 tons of tension on it, is cut into a perfect rectangle to ensure that the cabinet parts will fit exactly. The whole back is then stored to season before assembly. As we are based in Europe, we have access to a wide variety of high quality wood veneers. The veneers are selected, matched and cut, then each section is joined to obtain the finished size. Veneers are glued onto different core materials and the boards are then machined by computer-controlled saws and routers to extremely fine tolerances. The board edges are then also veneered. Before polishing, all the cabinet parts are carefully sanded. We offer three types of cabinet finish, satin, luster and high-gloss polyester. After the wood has been evenly stained by hand, the cabinet is sprayed with a satin, luster or polyester finish. The polyester process is complicated in that it has to be applied in a temperature controlled room, allowed to cure and finally sanded and burnished to a mirror-like finish.
polished cabinet parts are assembled and the sides glued to the strung back which has been allowed to season. The piano is almost complete except for the action, keys and hammers. The action is carefully checked and the hammers are shaped and pre-voiced. The action is then fitted. Several thousand pieces make up the action on a piano which require very precise adjustments by hand to obtain the very best response. The keys are positioned under the action and each one's height is adjusted. The piano is now ready for its first tuning. We use a testing machine that plays each note repeatedly. This helps to stabilize the action and tuning. Once this is completed, our technicians regulate and tune the piano a second time. To obtain a beautifully balanced tone, we perform a fine voicing. This is the process of adjusting and equalizing the tension in the felt hammers. Many of our pianos have a silent mechanism installed. This technology allows the pianist to turn off the acoustic sound and play in superb digital reproduction through the privacy of stereo headphones. These pianos can also be connected to computers and sequencers using the built-in MIDI. The remaining cabinet parts are fitted and the piano is now complete. Each piano is carefully inspected inside and out at this stage. Finally, it is retuned and ready for dispatch. Teamwork is vital for us. We work as a team. We're all committed to quality and we're all committed to efficiency. We have a very active um, suggestion scheme. We ask our staff to come up with ideas to help improve the way they do things. And I'm pleased to say that we, every year we get a huge, um, huge number of successful ideas. Our pianos go all over the world. We, in fact, recently uh, exported a container to Australia. We have pianos this month going out to um, Hong Kong and Singapore, United States. We sell through most of the European countries. Um, and of course, um, don't forget our home market, uh, we sell a lot of pianos in the United Kingdom. The choice of England as a manufacturing base uh, for our brand is, is vital. We are a British uh, piano and we take great pride in it. We benefit from being in, in Britain because we have access to uh, wide ranging skills which we need to make our pianos. We have access to a wonderful tradition of design and of technology and we believe that the Britishness of our pianos is an essential part of, of their quality. <laughs>